Good day and welcome to our Mathematics 7 class. So for today's lesson, we have a Venn diagram. So when you see Venn diagram, it is a way to show the relationship relationship between two or more sets. So sometimes you can only have one set. So how does it look like? First, let's have a rectangle. Okay, so a rectangle represents the universal set or the main set. So this is our focus. And then we can also have circles. So circles represent the subsets or sets being considered. So sometimes you can only have one circle, two circles, three circles. It depends on how many subsets do we have. How does it look like in different um, concepts when it comes to sets? So first, let's have universal set. So how does it look like when it comes to Venn diagram? So again, when we say universal set, it refers to all elements. So all elements, we're just going to use a rectangle. All right. So this um, rectangle represents our universal set. And don't, uh, don't forget to write capital U as the representation of this set. So whatever part of this rectangle, it refers to the universal set, all elements. What if we have set union? So again, when you say operations on sets, we have union. So it refers to the elements of a set A or set B or both. So don't forget this term, this conjunction or. So once you have read this term, or it refers to union. Okay, union. Now, again, we have a rectangle for the universal set. And then, for set union, we will have two circles. Okay, let's say we have for set A or set B. Okay, so let's just use two circles this time. So, how are we going to show a set union? So, this shaded part, as you can see, we have the pink shade, okay? All those parts with pink shade, okay, it refers to the set union. So, A union B, okay? So, that is a set union looks like. How about set intersection? So, again, intersection, okay? Elements of both set a and set B. So, if we have this conjunction and, and it refers to intersection, so don't forget that one. And it only means both. So, come on. How are we going to show it using Venn diagram? So, first again, let's have U, rectangle as the universal set. And then, let's have two circles again. Those two circles for set A and set B. So this time, we have only this shaded part okay, at the middle. So the, the one that is overlapping, okay, yung nagpatong sa kanila, yung nagtama sa kanilang dalawa. So that is what we call our intersection part, uh, the one with arrow. And that is only the set intersection, A intersection B. Okay, so that is the only common element to both set A and set B. This joint set. So how are we going to um, show this joint set? So again, we have set A and set B. Do not have the same element. Do not have the same element. So um, in intersection, they have common. But if there is no common, how are we going to draw this one? Or to create this one. So first again, we have the rectangle as the universal set. And then, this time, we have two circles. But those two circles were not overlapping. Meaning to say, hindi sila nagdikit or hindi sila nagpatong magkahiwalay sila. Separated. Why? Because they do not have the same element. So that is the opposite of intersection a while ago. There is an intersection or overlapping portion. So, in this joint set, no overlapping uh, portion. And then we have, let's say, for set A and then set B, A intersection B. So, again, um, this is how Venn diagram looks like 
in these joint sets. Complement of a set. So how are we going to show a complement of a set? So elements not in the set. Elements not in the set are not included in a given set, but it is located in the universal set. So let's have this rectangle as our universal set. Next, we have a circle. So this white circle, let's say, represent the set A. Now, how are we going to determine the complement of a given set? So we have an arrow, red arrow, so it pointed outside the circle. So that is our A complement this time. So those portion or those parts, okay, this part, this part, all right, any part of this rectangle outside the given set, set A, those are what we call included in the um, complement of set A, subset. So, subset all elements of set A are in set B. So, again, let's have our universal set, our rectangle. And then we have a orange circle. Let's say we have this um, set B. How are we going to write set A this time? If our um, focus is subset. So, this is where we are going to put or to write or to draw um the circle of set A. So, um, inside the circle of set B. So, we have a small circle. And that is how are we going to show or to use a subset using Venn diagram. So, A is a subset of set B. Meaning to say, all elements of set A must be included or must be located in set B. Okay? Lahat ng elements ni A makikita or kasama doon sa elements ni set B. 